This was a hate crime. And hate is not welcome here, it's not welcome anywhere. Breaking news tonight, Coronado's head basketball coach is fired over a racist incident on the court that has sparked outrage across San Diego County. Welcome to the 10 o'clock news. I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Jesse Pagan. We've been following this story all week and it all started Saturday night after a CIF championship game when some Coronado players were caught on camera throwing tortillas at fans and players from Orange Glen a predominantly Latino school in Escondido. Tonight's emergency meeting was packed with parents and other members of the community urging the board to take swift action. News 8's Richard Allen has been following the story all day. He is live in Coronado. After watching the vote come down, Richard, give us the latest. And Jesse and Marcella, it was swift action. After meeting in closed session, after that meeting here for about two hours, the Coronado Unified School Board did not take any action toward any students. However, they did take definitive action against Coronado's high head basketball coach, J.D. LaPerry, voting unanimously to terminate him. To release a CUSD coach, the board voted 5-0 to approve that motion. Leading up to Tuesday night's vote by the Coronado School Board, passions ran high at this special board meeting. This was a racial incident, no matter how it was cut. You had no right insinuating their guilt for something you had no idea about. I hope we can use this moment to have a frank discussion about racism. Just three days after this incident captured on video following the CIF championship basketball match between Coronado High School and Orange Glen High School, some members of the predominantly white Coronado team and some fans throwing tortillas at the predominantly Hispanic Orange Glen team, according to witnesses, following Coronado's 60 to 57 victory. We don't need anybody to explain anything else to us. We know what we saw and it hurts. And those weren't two tortillas. Those were bombs of racism being thrown on the people. It's unclear who brought the tortillas into the game, although Coronado police say it was an adult male. I think many people are making Saturday out to be something that it was not. Coronado's team captain said none of the players brought the tortillas, nor was there any animosity of any kind toward the Orange Glen players. The throwing of the tortillas during the scuffle after the game was unsportsmanlike and un inexcusable. And on that behalf of the team, we apologize for that action. This father of an Orange Glen player, though, believes Coronado's coach bore much of the responsibility for what transpired. He created the chaos that led to this incident, and I'm not convinced that it was not staged. Still, some Coronado parents said that the school board should not take any action until all evidence was considered and the investigation complete. You jumped the gun. You caused a myriad of issues for our boys, including death threats. And right now, there are three separate ongoing investigations into this incident by the school district, the Coronado Police Department, and CIF. As for the district investigation, that could take anywhere from one to three weeks to complete. Marcella? All right, Richard, thank you so much. Now, before the Coronado School Board fired head basketball coach J.D. LaPierre, the Escondido Union High School Board met tonight at a meeting that had been previously scheduled. Board President Tina Pope made it clear there is no room for hate against anyone in her district. You know, racism is real and it's everywhere. And um, this has just been very, very public and um, sad for our kids. I also know the strength of Orange Glen and whoever said you messed with the wrong school, they got that right. The board plans to hold a special meeting on Thursday to officially approve a resolution to denounce racism.